Hello traders, this is Chris Keen from A Keen Point of View and this is Currency Watch. On Wednesday we had a general slide lower in the US dollar against most of the majors, especially the commodity pairs or the risk pairs, the Aussie, New Zealand and so forth. Uh, and this leads us exactly into the big data front that's coming in tonight at Asia. It will be released at 22 G, I mean, excuse me, 2 o'clock GMT, which is 22 Eastern Time. And that is going to be the Chinese GDP report. Report, retail sales report and industrial production report. The Chinese GDP is expected to come in year over year, year, over year at 7.4%, industrial at 9%, and retail sales at 13.2%. These numbers will probably be the catalyst for any moves we see on Thursday as uh, they could uh, verify the strength of the Asian economy or they could put a damper on the region as a whole and we could see the dollar strengthen once again. Let's look at a few setups that we have heading into Asian trading. First being the New Zealand USD cross. As we can see, the pair broke above the descending trend line yesterday, uh, yesterday evening in early Asian trading and the pair did not look back. It broke above 8176 and it moved all the way up to the 8220 level which is a basically a 50 pip move. Uh, but more importantly you can see that the pair bounced perfectly off the 50 fib level which we discussed yesterday and uh, did not look back. Oh, heading into the trading tonight, uh, heading into the trading tonight depending on the GDP figures there are two numbers or two areas I'll be looking for. Initially you can be looking for 8235 but I'm going to move that level actually and you'll be, I'm going to be looking for the top of this the top of this uh, new last tr last uh, <clears throat> the top of the last move lower which currently comes in around 8265 that should act as a significant support level and if we do break above that we could be heading all the way back up towards the September September highs around 8350 but now if the data causes a pullback the first level of resistance would be this descending trend line or well, descending trend line which looks like it would probably come around the 8170 level and more importantly it would probably be the uh, 0.382 fib around 81.85. So heading into the trade, I'll be looking for moves, moves watching the price action initially, and any move I would be targeting up to if it was stronger, if if the numbers are better or probably in line. I could see a move up towards the 82.64 level. If we're disappointing, we could see our initial move down to the 81.84 and watch the price action from there. Uh, the other pair I'll be watching is the Great Britain pound USD because similar to the New Zealand, that cross broke with broke, broke above the resistance zone between 102 between um, 103 and 103.25 in Asian trading and pushed higher all the way up to the 50 fib from the recent move lower which currently comes in at 103.86. This level will probably contain the price action heading into the Asian and Chinese GDP report but depending on the out outcome of the event we will probably most likely see a break of this level. If we do break above the uh, break above the 50 fib level the first level of resistance will be around 104.70 then followed by the 105.20 level and then ultimately we could see a move if the uh, it, not overnight but in the ultimate trend could see a move up towards the 106 level in the Aussie USD now if the <clears throat> If the data is disappointing, we could see a push back down initially to support between the 103.25 and 103 level. The last pair I want to discuss is the Great Britain pound USD because you can see the pair, uh, who is which is notorious for having false breaks, has once again broken above the descending trend line, uh, descending trend line um, that has contained the pair since the uh, since uh, mid September, and you can see this line has been tested once, twice, and th the third time could be the uh, charm to break break higher but we could see a false break and if we do get a break back below this level we could easily see a push back down towards the uh, 10650 level in the short term but if we do get a push down pull down and a bounce the initial target would be up to 61 61 16217 all right traders keep your eyes open for the chinese jada coming out in asian trading and remember to keep your trades keen and to play it safe this is currency watch